Hello, my name's Sue, and I'm going to be taking you through today's project. And for today's project, I've chosen the Mosaic Pussycat. Isn't he gorgeous? And when you're picking backgrounds, what I do is I put my paper underneath, and I think, no, nah, that ain't going to work. And go through two or three sheets of paper. I mean, you, you, you can pick your orange out, you can pick your black out. There's even a little bit of pink there for his tongue, and they all help to bring the pussycat to the front. Now, this is a decoupage one, so that would be your main image. And then on the next sheet, you've got, would be the next image. And then these little pieces will fit as we go along, and I'll show you where to put them. And then you've also got a third sheet, which is more of the decoupage. And decoupage is bringing what is to the front even further to the front so that you've got your main cat at the back and then perhaps his ears are sticking up and they're more to the front. So your idea is, is to bring them to the front and that's how we do it with these sheets. Then I've taken a frame and again, I will show you how I cut them out. It's everybody to his own, but I'll show you the way I found that is the easiest. Then we've got the insert. Um, and with the frame being dark, I've chosen a lighter insert. And then you get the contrast of the two. And then finally are the sentiment pieces. And you pick whichever one you want. Um, I mean, I'm just going to give you a, a little bit of a guide as to what I've done with it. So they are the papers. And now we'll start putting the card together. And I've just taken a piece of blue card but what I've done I've got two A4s and I'll show you how I joined them. What I do is I use my mat a lot for measuring. I've got a ruler but it's my mat that does it. So I would lay it on my mat like that and then I would put a ruler and go down there with my scoring tool, fold it over and then on this flap I put a piece of double sided there and a, a piece of double sided there, line the two up, fold them over and you've got a large card. It's as easy as that and that's the easiest way I've found to do it. Now the insert um, I've taken and I'm not going to fold it. I'm going to make it a full sized insert like that. So all I've done is on the back I've put a piece of double sided which I'm going to peel off um, and I like my cards so that usually when they open, the insert comes with them, but obviously this one won't. And I'm going to put the insert piece to the side so that my pussycat is the right way up. And try and get it, I shouldn't have taken all that off, but try and get it in the middle like that. And that's your insert. There we are. Now then, the frame, I've cut mine out, but if I just go back to the one I'd printed off, I'll just move that out of the way. Now, the way i found is the easiest, instead of trying to do it like that, because you can't see, really, where your frame ends. So what I do, I would come in from this side and then you've got your line there where it wants to finish there and you've got a line here where it wants to finish there and then just you just run your knife down there and turn it round and do exactly the same so that you're coming into the middle of it and then that way you can see where you're finished and you've not got a lot of extra little cuts that you don't need so that's how I do it anyway so now back to my card and I'm just going to make sure that I've got, right, the cat's that way, so I want my frame that way. And I'm not going to put anything behind it. I did try it, but my cat disappeared. And I don't want that because it's such a beautiful image. I want the cat to stand up. So I've cut my frame out. Again, just some double-sided pieces of tape. And I'll just get my knife to lift those up. And these I'm not going to take all the way off. I'm just going to fold it there, go to the next piece, 
lift that and fold it back. Oop, I stuck to it. Oh dear. Right, now to the next corner. Lift that piece. And this way I found, if you've not got it straight, it's not stuck. You've just got a little tiny bit of a corner that is uh, fastened. So you're not going to ruin it if you have to take it off. So there we are, that's all my pieces. Now, just make sure I've got them both going the same way, yeah. And then I'm just gonna lay that on there. Like that, no, that's not quite. And you see, nothing's stuck. So you can just slide it along. And I think that's about there. So finger in that corner, finger in that corner, and you'll find it's fastened. Tear off your tape. Just run your finger down it. Tear off that one, finger down there. Tear off that, whoops, that one's come off on its own. And finger down that one off there. And that's the frame. And it's as easy as that. As I say, if you don't take all your tape off at once, then you've got no qualms about, oh, it's in the wrong place. How do I get it out? You can move it about as you like. Now we come to the good bit. I've got my, I've cut out all my pieces. And you always start with the largest piece. Whatever decoupage you do, it's always the largest piece. And on the back, I've just put some foam pads. And I'm not over extravagant with my foam pads as you will find out I'm, I'm a bit tight so I'm not going to pop him quite in the middle I'm just going to put him to one side just pop him down and give him a tap then you go to your next largest piece and if you can work I'm just going to trip it a little bit forward if you can work over the top and then you don't end up with six tails and four ears so just pop that on the top and as you can see the back leg there is missing off this one because you're bringing it forward to you all the time. Then we'll go to my next sheet and now you want the one with the two legs like that and this one's lost his tail because that is further away from you than the rest of his body. So just lay that on top. And you'll also see this ear's not there because it's further to the back. Same again with the next piece. And as you go along, you'll, you'll see what's missing and, and what's there. But as I say, try and get them on top of each other or else we're going to end up with nine ears and 14 legs and that'll never do. Then you've got his body and that goes um, that way around. Wait a minute, I've got to figure out which way around this goes. Am I missing a piece? No. So that will go, oh, that's it, down there. To bring that piece forward. Get it the right way up, it does help, doesn't it? No, that's still not the right way up. So you see, even we have problems sometimes Let's pop him just there. I'll line that up there. And then that's his main piece of his body brought forward. Now we come to the confusing bit, if that wasn't confusing. His head's simple enough. You've got his little tongue there to make sure you've got it the right way up. So pop that on there. Then we come to his ears. And we've got one to go on the back there, just there. Then you've got his other ear, which goes on. I suppose if I use tweezers, it might help you to see what I'm doing. But I'm, I'm just matching the pieces up. And then you've, you've got his feet. Now, that one goes on that foot like that and then you've got that one and you you can see because oops it's stuck to my finger um on this one if i get it the right way up for you you've got that little bit there 
is that little bit there, look. So there's always something for you to match up. So just pop that on there. That's his foot. And then we've got one more, which is this back leg, which we pop on there, like that. And now, to finish it off, I've done a, a sentiment, and I've picked the ones with the cats on, and I'm just going to pop that across that corner. I haven't put anything on it because um, I don't want you to think this is made for a Christmas or Easter or whatever. So I've, I've left that blank, but you put on it what you like. You can even write on it if you want to, if you want to put a little personal message. And then, because I want to be different, I've got him a little bow. So I'm going to pop that there. And then, if, here we are, I've got some jewels. Because I want his eyes to stand out a little bit more. So I've picked a pale blue, and I'm going to pop that one on there. And I'm going to pop that one, get that one out of the way. He's just popped off my sheet. And these are already sticky backed. So you haven't got to mess about trying to get the glue in the right place or you've just got to get the jewel in the right place. So pop that one, oops, in the middle there. And there we are, one cat with shiny eyes.